Chairman, for giving me the opportunity to speak uh, during the 47th International Congress I attend Belgrade. To be honest, it's difficult to have a presentation after these two experts, both, so I will try my best. So this presentation today is about um, it's about a super smart project. Uh, this project is for energy efficient supermarkets uh, by awareness raising, knowledge transfer and pre-preparation of an uh, EU eco-label. So as I said previously, it's an EU funded uh, project under the Horizon 2020 program. It started uh, February this year. It will last for 36 months and totally nine partners are involved in this project. We can see uh, the names of the partners, uh, leading by the Vision Institute, uh, Sinta. So as I said, nine partners coming from different uh, regions, uh, countries of Europe. We have Norway, Sweden, France, Germany, Spain, Italy, and uh, from Macedonia, from, from the Balkans. So SuperSmart is a project to speed up uh, the uptake of energy efficient refrigeration, heating and cooling solutions. So it's focused on the supermarkets in Europe as a region. Uh, it, has, uh, it should identify, remove non-technical barriers to reduce the energy use of the supermarkets, to lower the environmental footprint of the uh, whole store increase economical benefits and also interesting to pre-prepare a draft version of EU Ecolabel for the supermarkets. So what is the current status of the supermarkets in uh, Europe? Uh, we're saying and we heard yesterday and today that they are available already uh, energy efficient solutions for refrigeration, heating and cooling. They are they are based on natural refrigerants, but they are not still widely implemented in large extent in every country or in every region in Europe. So what are these barriers that are preventing these technologies to be uh, more involved? Also, what are the challenges in the European supermarket sector is that first we should avoid the high first cost of the new equipment. And then by, by that, then we also have to prove that the new equipment uh, will uh, have less energy consumption. Also, we should re reduce the overall environmental footprint and also to find interesting parties that will be interested to be more involved, meaning to supply, uh, design, install, and maintaining uh, equipment on natural refrigerants, but, but I'm saying also in whole Europe, in every country in Europe. So aims of this project is to first remove the non-technical barriers and to help uh, every supermarket stakeholder to implement more efficient environment friendly uh, technology. Mainly the three main tasks in this project. First is removing the barriers through different kind of workshops, seminar, seminars also to develop trainings that will start from 2017 that will be free of charge to every interested supermarket stakeholder in Europe. The second task is to uh, support on the development of the EU Equilabel. So it means to make a product group proposal, then to develop a certain label criteria, uh, which means we need uh, involvement of different supermarket stakeholders that can actively participate and uh, give contribution to this project. And also the third, third task is to uh, communicate and disseminate all the information uh, throughout this three years project that will be done to be widely uh, available on the, on the market. So first and the first task, how to remove the non-technological non barriers. We do know, of course, that there are certain barriers in uh, Europe, but we didn't know uh, how they impact in different regions of Europe. Also, we don't know each stakeholder, what are their point of view on each barrier, and also what, why, what they propose as a certain measure to overcome this barrier. So in 
In that case, uh, it was developed uh, a serving. It was launched uh, 18th of April, it lasted for two months, and it was translated on six different languages. It was widely communicated uh, uh, for, two for two months, and we had uh, almost 180 questionnaires. Uh, from different people coming from 80% 80, 80 almost 80% of the answers came from respondents from EU and 10% uh, were from the US companies. Different profiles of stakeholders, end users, designers, uh, components, suppliers and so on. This, uh, there were several questions on what are the uh, what are the barriers and what are the results or uh, what are the proposals how to overcome these barriers. I will just give you an example how for one barrier, uh, meaning what is the importance of energy efficiency. So it, uh, you can give an average score by from one to five, almost 100 percent. The top score five answered from the food retail and single store uh, owner. Then also you can see the average score of four to other uh, profiles of uh, responders that the uh, importance of energy efficiency is on the top score. Also another question was what is the accepted payback time for every new investment in energy efficiency? 50% said that up to three years, but also 42% answered that up to six years is a reasonable uh, payback period for any investments in energy efficiency. All the results from this survey you can download and see in the SuperSmart uh, website. Then these are the short conclusions of uh, this uh, barrier survey that we had, uh, meaning that uh, we should promote the awareness uh, of the any financial support instruments that there are existing in Europe in order to uh, support uh, energy efficient solution in the supermarket sector. Uh, also, an EU eco label as an idea was also positively accepted by everybody who filled this questionnaire. Then, the second task on development the drug version of EU eco label. Uh, so, the, this eco label uh, drug version started when this project started, so it was uh, four months ago. Uh, the preliminary report will be finished in uh, two months' time, end of January 2017. And as we speak, uh, starting from the beginning of this year, also the criteria development started to progress. The final report should be finished 2018, and also the product group uh, proposal. The end of this project is uh, to the beginning of 2019. So also regarding this matter, a survey was launched, translated in six different languages. We had almost 90 uh, valid questionnaires coming from 19 European countries. You can see here from which sector had uh, uh, most of the participants on this survey. One of the questions was, what do you think we should be involved or uh, included in the scope of the food retail stores and who should be outside of the scope of the food retail stores that will be concerned on the EU eco label scheme. So from the left side you see 99% was supermarkets, yes, in the group convenience store and so on. From the right side, uh, who should be out is 82% uh, nursing homes, uh, hospital 86%, uh, cafeterias 84% and so on. Also, 89% uh, agreed that this should be used as a definition for what is a food retail store, because there, are, oh, on uh, on the website you can find all sorts of definition what is a food retail store. So this was agreed that it, it should have at least 50% uh, of the annual turnover to the groceries uh, inside of the store. So on the left side is. You see who is inside of the product group, and the right side on the screen, the who is outside of this uh, product group. This uh, also a question regarding uh, criteria for the food retail stores. So 
86, uh, uh, sorry, 99 percent agree that energy consumption, energy saving, display cabinets, and integrated solution for refrigeration air conditioning should be definitely included as a criteria in the eco label. On the right side, you can see here the 48 percent said that location and accessibility of the store should be discussed if that should be evaluated as a criteria or not. So also the results of this survey, is, it will be available very shortly, if not, uh, maybe it's even today uploaded on the SuperSmart uh, website. So uh, SuperSmart partners, which I mentioned on the beginning of this presentation, will develop a draft criteria. Uh, this criteria will be based on the existing criteria that they are on the equal label but also the recommendation that we received and we're still, is a process of still receiving uh, from a different experts in the supermarket sector. Also the aim of this uh, development is uh, the criteria for the eco label should be applicable in whole Europe, not just on a certain part of uh, Europe. And uh, all the proposals, different opinions uh, will be discussed during the labeling board assembly the first assembly was uh, took place two months ago in uh, during Chauvin exhibition in Norway, and the next one will take place in uh, May in Opry during the IICO2 and, and Ammonia conference. So my voice to all of you is whoever is having any interest in this uh, project to be uh, to be involved in. Uh, just to give you a short example, of what is a uh, uh, how should the criteria look like? It's just a recommendation. It's nothing uh, is finalized. For example, regarding the refrigerant, you have the systems before 2020, in, uh, sorry, installed after 2020, should be exclusively on halogen free refrigerant. Uh, about decentralized plug-in systems, after 2020, also exclusively on halogen free refrigerants. Another mandatory requirement that for the systems before 2020 should has at least uh, must have GWP lower than 1,500, and for the plug-in system before 2020, it should have uh, at least 50% on uh, refrigerant GWP lower than 1,500. So this is just a draft proposal of one criteria concerning the refrigerants. The next slide is on. Uh, Concerning the system itself, for example, the energy efficiency, the energy efficiency of the system, uh, there is one criteria. Then, regarding the evaporation temperature, on which temperature level, what is the evaporation temperature? Uh, another criteria. Then, what is the control on the high side pressure? What is the control on evaporating pressure? A different criteria. And uh, one proposal is to have a point system. Of course, how a uh, supermarket owner re will receive its point under this eco label proposal is that you have, for example, points starting from two points up to 10 points. So let's say for a criteria number one on the refrigeration system, if you have a medium temperature equipment working on zero degrees, you will have a maximum point. So if it works on minus eight, which means more energy consumption, then you will have zero points. Everything between these will have uh, will have been the distribution of points. So this is one proposal how this will go on. So what are the benefits? Of course, uh, throughout this project, as I mentioned before, there will be free of charge trainings starting from uh, beginning from the next year. Then you will have information about various uh, water preventing the customers to buy high efficient equipment and also you can actively participate in this uh, eco label development that uh, started uh, several months ago and will last through the next two years so uh, for the operators uh, you can it can be used to train the operators uh, in, uh, employees regarding uh, the environmental benefits and economical benefits for these energy efficient systems. And also, concerning the EU Eco label, it can be uh, used as an interesting tool to market your business. And end of the day, everything this is uh, saving the cost for the, for the supermarket business. What I was also like at the end to mention that there are very interesting reports. It was very uh, 
Tang's work over the past uh, six months. So they are already available, seven different reports published on the SuperSmart supermarket website. They are free of charge, they are in PDF files. The reports are on different uh, titles. Uh, first you have a mapping and segmentation of barriers for the supermarkets, then a report on eco-friendly supermarkets, a different report on how to build, a different how to refurbish a supermarket, then a report on competitional, competitional tools available for supermarket planning, a different report on eco-friendly uh, operation and maintenance, and the last report on what is existing eco-label uh, schemes for food uh, retail stores. So I will point again, you can, they're all in English, so you can download it uh, immediately through through the website. This is the website, you see it here on the bottom. So what's next, uh, how you can get involved? It is my voice to you that uh, you can actively visit first the website, see what's coming next. Uh, as I said previously, it will be the labeling board in conference in Oprid in May. Then uh, you can also sign up for the Super Smart uh, newsletter to be to uh, keep in touch about every events that are following and to have active participation. Uh, this is the official email, so you can sign up here. So I think I'm yes at the end. Thank you for your attention.